we're gonna have to wait and see who will be the fool tonight. Shout out! Come Welcome! On, who will be the fool tonight? Come on, baby! It's the all new. Wonderful Red Bar, welcome to today's program. Who will be the fool tonight? Well, it's looking like Joe Matarese. Woo! Has he put out a lot of tapes? I hope you don't mind watching tape after tape after tape. Hey, you sweet little heads, it's Red Bar. Welcome to the show. We gotta get a little cute little animation of this one. I like this. Will you be missing me? I don't know how to do I guess we're gonna have to wait and see Who will be the fool tonight? Pretty cool song, huh? Welcome! Shout out, shout out, shout outs! Jules isn't here today. She's a little sick, so you won't be hearing her laughter or her help. And, uh, you know, we're just trying to make it through the day. You know, we're just heads like you guys. We're just trying to survive, and hopefully you'll give us a chance. Shout-outs. Welcome to the wonderful Red Bar. Quite a show for you guys today. Like mentioned, Joe Matarese taking over the uh, taking over the tapes this week. Let me say one, two, three, four, five, six tapes from Matarese. Uh, and, of course, our wonderful Count E Who Rules. This whole program here, Count K, Count Kumia, uh, he's been going nuts. I'll dress as Dracula and you could deep discount. He's been going crazy. He's threatened to sue. Not me, thank God. But he's threatened to sue. I guess there's this guy writing these articles about him. Revenge of the Sis. Have you seen this? They're writing uh, these long articles about him. Terrible, terrible articles about him. And they seem to be uh, obsessed with this idea that he goes after children, uh, young people, <laughs> young. I don't know. You know, I, I've never seen him do it. I can't imagine, but people do it. You know, there's plenty of people out there who go after the young people. So the count is sick of it. He's threatened to sue. Uh, we don't know who yet. But he's threatening to sue people on Reddit. He's threatening to sue uh, all these writers of these articles. Let me show you this clip. You guys like uh, clips? Here's the original clip from the Count Show. And this is why we will not be doing any more Count coverage ever. JK. Okay, here it is. Look at this one. Uh, tonight, that's posting shit. Like, I don't care what goes on on oh, the, the YouTube. Yeah, the YouTube. Uh, tonight, that's posting <laughs> shit. Like, I don't care what goes on on certain sites. If it's a gaggle of a dozen people that just go around and do yeah, shit. Right. But there are people actually trying to do myself, my family, uh, co-workers, actual harm. Is that true? Are people trying to do this guy actual harm? I haven't heard anything like that. You know, he keeps using this one. The victim status. And you never thought cool guys like Count K whatever stoop to this level. So uh, you didn't think that you'd have to worry about people like that. Hold on, I'm getting an important message here. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, uh, you didn't think you'd have to worry about a guy like this going to victim status. You know, Joe Matarese has done it, people like that. But you didn't think Count K would stoop to it. But I guess he's he's had enough. So he's victimizing himself. Oh, my God, you know who else is on this clip? Joe DeRosa back. Remember the titty bandit, the gusher king? Joe DeRosa is back. His tits, twice the size as they were the last time we showed you. Remember two weeks ago, three weeks ago, he was on the cow and he had this tit problem. Joe DeRosa, remember uh, Emotional Hangs? Yeah, I got, a, I got a new podcast called Emotional Hangs. You should really come on. No, thank you. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this wine open here. Ooh. Uh, Joe DeRosa comes back. Now, you can't see it in this picture right here because his shirt is a little bit more baggy, but when he leans back, these things pop, man. They are small says. And uh, really disgusting. You would think he would learn his lesson. Either, you know, start chipping away at those tits somehow, start getting rid of them, or wear a shirt that conceals the tits. Wear that jacket. Why aren't you wearing that jacket? Why would you take it off and wear this terrible, terrible tee 
showing your terrible shoulders and your juicers. I don't like it. So it's like he's almost trying to own his tits, which isn't a thing. Okay. Men can't own their tits. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this line up. Shout outs to Yusuf Al. I heard he's doing great. Shout outs to all the other heads. Okay, let's go back to this clip. Count K. His family is being threatened. These aren't jokes. Actual harm. They They're don't. trying to fuck that. Yeah. And and those people. You see how Joe DeRosa even goes, really? Actual harm. What actual harm? I need to see this actual harm stuff. Because I cover all things count. Have you ever heard me come on the show and go, oh my God, this week we've got a great clip of the count being actually harmed. That never happens. Uh, and it's because nobody's actually trying to harm them. Well, uh, will will be Shout dealt out. with uh, legally. This it's not a First Amendment issue because uh, uh, defamation of character, slander, libel that's not covered by the First Amendment. Right. And allegations being made like that, allegations. I will go after. I last night I was right there on my email with uh, my lawyer, and I I am I am fucking doing something. <laughs> this is actually going to be dealt with really? because because it's criminal allegations no, it's they're alleging criminal activity if they know how you, you you the police must know if they know so why are you not in jail yeah yeah meanwhile here here's some of their uh here's some of their uh, evidence i followed someone on vine yeah. right a girl that was in college okay <laughs> so this he's talking about remember people were like oh my god you know when vine first came around Count K started following this girl with braces. Remember that? You've seen that picture posted everywhere. So now he's saying, no, that girl was in college. But this is the first she's really ever spoke of it, I think, recently. He used to not speak of it. He used to, uh, I guess what they did is they found that he liked hundreds of these girls' vines, this girl with braces. And then once they discovered that he did that, he didn't realize people could see his likes. He deleted his account. Uh, but now, yeah, he's saying she was in college. How does he know? How does he know, uh, you know, what schools these girls are going to and such? I don't know. I believe him. Is that, is that good? How many years can I do for that? I was walking. I was wow. walking down. Walk up the entire male race. I was wow. walking down Vine the other day. I didn't see do that. Hollywood and Vine. <laughs> I saw Fred Mertz lying dead on the corner. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey. I'm following you on Vine. Rick, my right arm hurts. Or left arm. Which no one? time for jokes. I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> I'm friends with a Cuban. <laughs> I'm a bad leader, a Cuban. My brother okay, guys, shit. no jokes, please. So I will, uh, I, yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of things like that because I can't, I blame you, you can't just let these things go. There have been over the course of uh, time uh, some tabloids that have come out with shit that was completely false. And celebrities have said, all right, this one. I'm gonna uh, yeah, pursue. Yeah. It's hilarious. You want to hear? This is this is a true story, and it was when you and I were beefing. And oh, so here it goes. That was so. Yeah, they were beefing. It was a good beef too. They should have kept this beef up. But you know, Count Kumi is such a pussy. So Count Kumi is in this mode where he's talking about I was gonna sue all these people, knowing he's riling people up. So what does he do? Joe DeRosa is gonna bring up the time they were beefing. Kumi is gonna overcompensate. Doing one of these moves where he's like, hey, I'm making a lot of enemies right now. I should make a really good friend right now to kind of even things out. So watch how much he kisses Joe DeRosa's ass right here. It's like so funny because it's like, oh, I hope I hope we could get this beef taken care of between me and uh, Joe DeRosa. And it was like, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Within three seconds, yeah. we're laughing our fucking balls off. Okay, well, then that means you're a fucking liar. That means you're not a man of your word. You shouldn't be able to end a beef in three seconds. You shouldn't be laughing. What you did is you had a, a real beef with this guy. And when it came down to it, you know, you're, you're too pussy to confront the actual beef. So what do you do? You just fold. You start laughing. You start pretending you're friends again. Friends again. Friends again. They're reunited. What business do they need to be friends? I don't like when people make friends again after a long beef. I hate it, in fact. I want you to keep going. I want to see you. I want you to make matters worse. I want to see how far you're going to take this vendetta against your enemy. <laughs> it was done. It was ridiculous. It, was it wasn't uh, ridiculous. But this, it this, was true. You know, I had people coming at me online. And, you know, for the most part, it was just like drop dead and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, did you think this would be like if all of a sudden I started liking 
Gino Disconte. You know that's weird science, dude. You know what I mean? Wouldn't you be disappointed? Don't you want people to keep their beefs? Don't you kind of get disappointed every time? Oh, they made friends. How great. I'm so glad that I invested so much time following the beef and getting excited. You'll see. Sorry about that little feedback. You'll see comedians do this time after time out of pure fear. You know, they get mad and then they realize, up, oh, I'm too much of a wimp. And look at Artie like he knows what he's talking about here. Usual. Yeah, the usual kill yourself. <laughs> yeah, all that shit. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's the clip. That's posting shit. Like... Kumia suing everybody. So let's see if these lawsuits happen. You know, the guy who wrote the article, Kumi is talking about one guy. He doesn't like this guy. What is it? Revenge of the Sis? Revenge of the Fifth? Uh, remember we read a couple weeks ago that long article about him. Well, there's another one. I'm not going to even dare to read it. It's too contra. And uh, he seems to be going after just that guy. But that guy doubled down today. He put up a tweet. Look at this tweet. Shoutouts to Mark Viduka for keeping up on this. Uh, let's see this tweet here. Yeah. So this guy, Mersh, he goes, this is the article that Anthony Cumia CM threatened legal action and blocked me over. I heard rumors that BuzzFeed has been sniffing around too. Tick tock. And then he links to the article. Hashtag me too. Hashtag time's up. Hashtag live PD. A lot of different hashtags here. Hashtag MAGA. M-A-G-A. So, uh, yeah, it looks like Kumia is worried here. He definitely doesn't want this stuff out there. People Googling his name and seeing this pedophilic uh, stuff. So shout outs to the count. I hope you do win this defamation case. I hope you uh, go after this guy and you win. I'm sure that things will get much better for you if you do that. Uh, check out the Jason Yates edit. We might as well watch that while we have a little bit more wine, huh? Get hype for today. Here's the Jason Yates. Like I don't care what goes edit. on on certain. Nope, let's get it. Site. If it's a come on Facebook, Facebook uh, takes you through three levels of blowing up the screen. Now you click on it once, it gets a little bit bigger. Click on it twice, grows a little bit bigger. Click on the video three times. You finally have a full screen. Here's the Jason Yates edit of the Count Suet. Like, I don't care what goes on on certain sites. If it's a gaggle of a dozen people There's that just go around and do shit. Right. There are people actually trying to do myself, my family, <laughs> uh, co-workers, actual harm. Me They're too. trying to fuck that. Yeah. And and those people uh, will will be dealt with. Uh, they will legally. pay. It's not a First Amendment issue. They're true. Uh, uh, defamation, a character, slander, libel. That's not covered by the First Amendment. Right. And allegations being Look made at that, Artie. like that, I will go after. I last night, I was right there on my email with uh, my lawyer, and I. There's I, Artie I am again. Fucking doing something. <laughs> Artie's had enough. This is actually going to be dealt with really? because really? because it's criminal allegations they're alleging criminal activity if they know how you, you the, the police must know, they know so why you're not in jail? wow look hey, at yeah. those juice. meanwhile here here's some of their uh here's some of their uh, evidence i followed someone on vine right a girl that was in college okay is that is that good how many years can I do for that? I was walking. I was walking wow. down. Fuck up the entire male race. I was walking I down Vine the other day. I didn't see you do that. Hollywood and Vine. <laughs> There's his foot. Look Fred how Mertz his feet go. Lying dead da, 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 on the corner. Hey Rick. Hey Rick. I'm following you on Vine. Rick, my right arm hurts. Or left arm. Which one? Is it? I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> friends with a Cuban. Ooh, very <laughs> lizard life today. I'm a band leader, a Cuban. My brother's going to be shit. <laughs> so I will, uh, I, yeah, I, I'll, I'll. There it is. Shout out to another great tape by Jason Yates. You can check that out. Watch the uh, live video version of the show, the video version of the show. Or join us in the Bring Back Group, redbarradio.net slash BBG. I was captivated and I waited for you, baby. Every lonely night, so fascinating.